Overwatch. So I'm a console Overwatch YouTuber, and as one, I've become well aware of a very controversial issue, and that is keyboard and mouse being used on console. Is it cheating? Is it an unfair advantage? I decided to get to the bottom of this once and for all. So don't fret console gamers, chit is on the case and I've got your back. So what did I find? Well to start, I found a lot of mixed feelings. Many players feel that KBNM users should be banned completely. Other players feel that everyone should just convert over to keyboard and mouse and leave the joystick behind. Just accept the inevitable change to the superior peripheral. And still others say it's just not that big a deal. So is keyboard and mouse superior to a controller? The answer is an unwavering yes. It is better. It allows for precision aiming that a joystick just cannot match. You can hit several buttons at once that a normal controller would require you to take your thumb off the joystick in order to hit. It's just more efficient. On top of that you then have the Zim 4, which is what's called a mouse adapter. You see you can just plug in your keyboard or mouse and just go, but not all games support it. Games like Call of Duty don't want that on their game because of the power of keyboard or mouse. With an adapter it allows for a keyboard or mouse to be used in any game, and Zim 4 is the top notch of these adapters. Think about it, this allows for keyboard or mouse to be used in any game even if they don't want it in their game. Infuriating right? Is this getting you angry, frustrated, maybe never play on console again? Well just hold your horses, cause I've got plenty more to say. But, and this is a big but, not everything is what it seems. You see, we know that keyboard and mouse is superior so we don't want that on console going against controller users. That is just an unfair advantage that we as controller users can't compete with unless we take the time to learn KBNM and spend the money for these mouse adapters and gaming type keyboard and mouses. Except KBNM isn't the same on console as on PC. How can that be? If they take their PC keyboard or mouse and plug it into their console through an adapter then that is a direct unfair advantage. And it should be banned. Well I'm here to tell you that it's not exactly the case. Just bear with me here. On PC, the aiming system is based on what's called DPI, dots per inch. Meaning the higher the DPI, the more pixels that the reticle will move based on mouse movement. So if one has say 2000 DPI, then moving your mouse one inch will move the reticle 2000 pixels. The aiming is also based on sensitivity which is tied to the actual game you're playing software and not the hardware. On console, the aim system is based on joystick movement. There is a neutral zone and a maximum angle the joystick can move, and the joystick flings back to its neutral position when let go. Things like variable sensitivity, acceleration, aim assist, dead zone, etc. all go into the aiming system of a joystick. Things that a keyboard or mouse do not have any use for. Fundamentally, these two aiming systems are different. So what am I saying here? I'm saying that keyboard or mouse on console is bound by the system's rules and are limited to the movement of joysticks. Just like in the matrix, if you are plugged into the system, you are bound by the rules of that system. It's trying to emulate joystick movement. That's why mouse adapters exist. Not to give an advantage, but to allow comfort. Because using keyboard and mouse on console is actually horrible. There's no way to set a setting on what DPI you want. That's not how it works. They are bound by the rules of the aim assist, the acceleration, the dead zone, etc. Which are all catered to the movement of joysticks and not KBNM. The adapters try to close the gap between a mouse movements and joysticks movements. It doesn't allow it to surpass joystick movements. It just makes the keyboard and mouse user feel more comfortable when being bound by these rules. Do you want to know what you would see if keyboard and mouse on console actually worked exactly the way it does on PC? Centimeters per 360. So in a third of a centimeter, I do a 360. Oh my god, I'm getting the shit that you have. What the f is wrong? My mouse is freaking out. What the piss? Stop it, man. Credit to Jazeroth for allowing me to use this footage. His channel is linked below. He was doing a 100 sensitivity challenge with 8,200 DPI, and this is what it looks like. It's in practical settings for even PC users, but it perfectly illustrates my next point. That this is what it would look like if KBNM users were allowed to manipulate DPI on console and didn't have to be bound by the rules of the joystick aiming system. 
For example, if they weren't bound by the mandatory neutral position where the joystick is sitting idle. Something that is of no use to keyboard and mouse because it has no neutral position. So it in fact hurts them while helping controller users. Now I have heard that keyboard and mouse on console can give one slight advantage with say Widowmaker. But you can get the same advantage with the Control Freak. Which if you don't know is a joystick extender that allows you to be more accurate due to leverage. In fact, keyboard and mouse on console gives one no more an advantage than a scuff controller with control freaks can. It's simply to make them comfortable while playing because they prefer things like arm movement for aiming rather than thumb movement. It's just comfort. And Zim 4 is on the forefront of that comfort. What they try to do is translate the input from the keyboard and mouse to joystick more accurately and with little delay. So to wrap up, I've found that keyboard and mouse on console does not work the same as it does on PC because it has to emulate joystick movement, which is slow and not responsive. And mouse adapters like Zim 4 simply try to close that gap between keyboard and mouse and joystick movement so it's more comfortable for keyboard and mouse users. So when games like Call of Duty say they don't support keyboard and mouse, what they're really saying is that they don't support the fundamental aiming system of PC that uses DPI for input. Now just a side note, there are those who will say the majority of the top 500 on console use keyboard and mouse. My question is, how do you know? If it's undetectable, then the only way to know is if you ask them directly whether they use it or not. Now assuming they're all honest and it does turn out to be true that they do use keyboard and mouse on console, I don't think it's because of keyboard and mouse that they are in the top 500. I think it's because PC gamers coming to console have way more experience with strategy games like Overwatch, whereas console gamers are used to the one-man army games like Call of Duty. I mean, I personally have seen my team not go in with any healers. They all just wanted DPS which PC gamers fundamentally know that everyone is a cog in the machine and you have to work together. But this is just my opinion, so I could be wrong. So that's what I found out, guys. I'm very confident what I discovered, but I'm open to being proven wrong with evidence. What do you think? Are you still going to quit console? Did I miss anything that you feel if it was mentioned it would prove that keyboard and mouse on console is vastly superior? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to be nice to each other because I know how controversial this is. Well that's it for today guys, if you enjoyed the video be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.